This is a genuine hoarder home that we're about to tour, and it gets pretty rough in here. So buckle up or turn away. Okay, I just got here. This is a hoarder estate sale. I'm super excited. Let's get the camera on and let's go do this. Did you tell me the last time I can't remember? To this one, no. I didn't think so, yeah. How you doing? Good. What have you got there? Kalachis and donuts. Shut your face. You're awesome. I did. I am awesome. You are amazing. That's why we love you, Scott. I left my flashlight in the car. I think I might want it. So y'all have already had one out here before. Yeah, this is your second one. All right, I did not know they had already had it out here once before. That makes it less likely that I'm gonna find great stuff. I hesitated to show you some of this. It really does get pretty rough in here. There's uh, an awful lot of mold on this estate and they've obviously had some water problems, but this is a reseller reality. You're gonna go to a lot of places that don't end up being what you hope for. You were smart and brought gloves. Yeah, somebody warned me of the boots and jeans and gloves. Have you been in the house yet? No, I haven't. Oh, if you've got a mask, you might want it. Uh, is it pretty rough? <laughs> like books are black. Clothes falls apart when you touch it. Yeah. May not do me any good to go in there. If you're looking for something for a prop for a creepy movie, <laughs> where the, pipe where the serial killer has his dead relative in the house, yeah. <laughs> you might find something. And what I'm hoping to find as I go through these places is just that one item that's in good enough shape to salvage. Very, very quickly, there was so much mold. There was a, a really thick white mold, and then there was also a lot of black mold. And so most of the textiles they would have had to be something unbelievably spectacular for me to quit. I mean, for me to, to go ahead and keep. <laughs> That's jelly. I don't think I'm going to be eating any of the jelly out of this place. You know, maybe some of the lamps you could have salvaged. I think that's a velvet painting up on the wall, but it was covered in mold. It gets really rough back here in the pictures. What I had hoped to find was some genuine vintage, you know, FFA jackets or things like that in the back. And so I did want to go through them because, you know, if I could find something that's worth $500 or $1,000, then it would be worth the time it takes to to pick it up. I'm also looking, you know, perhaps there's something hard, a plastic, um, but there was big time uh, rats and mice in this place. I mean, think about it. You got all this cloth and stuff in what amounts to just a virtually open building. And, you know, the worst part was is all of the clothes were, were inexpensive to begin with. And it just doesn't leave any meat on the bone to try and fix them. And this place I'm in right here is the cleanest of the places that I'm going to be in in this video. I do catch <laughs> some of the dust and mold flying in the air here in just a moment. I moved something that just kicked up a ton of it. The books were just eaten up. Silverfish and things had gotten in there and just destroyed it. That was an open puzzle. The drive out to this place was just about an hour long, so I really wanted to make sure that you know, I'm already here and it, I should at least look. Uh, it, backing up, I don't know if I would have stayed at all. Now watch this. Whatever I move, something just exploded in there. And you're not going to be able to see it here. I end up just about running. I'm going to pull out a white sweater in just a minute. And something runs back through the pile. And like I say, I wasn't sure if anybody would even want to see this. But this happens, you know. I, I don't hesitate to post the videos where everything you pull out is golden. But this one was pretty rough. And you did want to dig because there was evidence that they owned a lot of guns. But 
this wasn't the first time they had had an estate sale here, but the bigger piles people hadn't been inside of. They um, they pretty much <laughs> didn't want to dig down into the cloth for some reason. It had an H-E-B tag on it. That's a grocery store for anybody that isn't from Texas. I am absolutely sure that box was empty. I'm absolutely sure that there are some prizes hiding in here. Um, but my goodness, to dig them out. Okay, we're going into the house. And seriously, if you can't take it, this is the time to turn back. Um, it had some pretty serious water leaks. And the saddest thing is I found um, letters and envelopes and things like that that somebody had been living here as late as 2019 and I don't know it's to me this this whole place this was a sad one it's always sad when you're at an estate sale and you know somebody had to pass for the stuff to even be available but this one was pretty rough for me there was uh, the thought of somebody trying to take care of themselves here I don't know kind of hurt my feelings hurt my feelings for them Again, there's probably some things that are worth saving. I just, the floor was giving way underneath me and you just don't know. The next room I'm walking into, this is where the mold gets bad. It was worse in here than in the kitchen. You can't really see it, but the ceiling is almost black. Here is probably the one place that there was some money. There were sealed VHS and DVD, but this room was over 100 degrees. And I just thought, if it's been sitting in here three or four years with nobody moving around and that kind of temperature, I'd be afraid they wouldn't work. If you see there, you'll see the light shining through that blanket. It's just completely moth-eaten and holes in it. But the walls are are turning but the ceiling is almost black I thought I really did I really thought about not posting this at all except that you know we all love to get into some place and find those hidden treasures but the reality of it is is you're gonna find places like this too where even when these things were new they were cheap and they've just been left to rot and I, it was a, it's just a really a rough situation. The poor lady's working here. You'll see her. I, I end up buying one bowl, um, you know, because that's something I can clean up and, uh, you know, and it fortunately it was outside, so it actually had less mold on it, and less dirt on it outside than it did inside. That was just, just gone. And so I bought a bowl, but you can see on her face that this whole experience is just kind of sad for her too. Let's see if it's got any big chips or anything in it. How about 10? Yeah. And that's it, everybody. Man, I, I, I love going to these sales. This is a cool bowl. This old, you know, McCoy oven proof sold for $40 just as fast as I could list it. If you like estate sales, I do a lot of them. Uh, click in the upper right hand corner and we'll pop over to another one and hopefully one with less mold. Thanks everybody.